trying to get your podcast off the ground can be tricky. There's so much to do, so much to think about, and it only adds more complications if you're adding in additional co-hosts or producers. Hey, I'm Amy, Head of Customer Experience here at Podcastle. And today I'm gonna show you how to use our team workspace feature for effortless collaboration. Podcastle for Teams allows you to get everyone from your team into the same workspace. That includes co-hosts, guests, producers, you name it. It's kind of like collaborating on a Google Doc, but instead you get to record, edit, and publish all of your podcasts and videos. You can add as many viewers as you want for free, but if you want to give someone edit or admin access, you'll need to add them as a creator, and that's only available through our story or our pro plans. I'll demo all the features in a bit, but first let's make sure you know what each different access means. Let's start with view only access. Viewers can review and comment, but they don't have the ability to edit projects. This is really helpful if you're looking for advice or looking for general feedback on a recent podcast episode. Now creators have the same initial permissions as viewers. However, they're also able to record and edit projects. This is super helpful if you wanna take a more hands-off approach, if you have additional co-hosts or you have producers as well. Admins have the same power as creators, but they also have the power to add new members and change the role of existing members. Don't let the power go to your head. If you're the owner of the account, every new admin or creator will be added to the owner's subscription plan. And speaking of plans, if you haven't upgraded yet from the forever free plan, get your first month 50% off with code PODTUBE50. Oh, and by the way, I posted a link to the full guide on how the team subscription works in the description below. To create a team workspace, start on the podcast home screen and then click plus on the left-hand side of your dashboard. From there, add the name of your podcast and a logo if you happen to have one. After that, you can invite the whole team to your workspace. Maybe in the future, you want to change a member type or remove members from your team. Simply go to your workspace settings, click on team members, and select whichever option suits you. See, it's so easy. You can even invite new team members later by selecting invite members from the team members settings. All you need is their email address. And you can check to see if they've accepted the invitation by taking a quick peek at their activity status. If it's pending, it means they haven't accepted yet and they might need a quick reminder. If it's active, it means they've accepted the position and they're probably already hard at work making your podcasting dreams come true. If you have a team member that you only want to invite to one project or one podcast episode, you can click on the add member button in the top right hand corner and get that boost you need to get that episode out. So this is super helpful if you need an episode guest to re-record some additional lines, or you can also use our revoice feature, which I'll talk about in just a second. And now for the fun part, collaborating with your team. At Podcastle, we understand that more than ever, teams are working remotely. And this means that you need easy to use tools that leave no room for confusion. That's why we made Podcastle and why we have tutorials like this one, in addition to our full podcasting guide and our full editing guide to help you out. If you've used Podcastle before on either our paid or free plans, you know how easy it is to navigate. The team workspace is just as intuitive as a personal workspace, but it is just a little bit different. As I mentioned, you can have as many admins and creators as you want in your team workspace. However, keep in mind that only one person can edit a project at a time. It's kind of like how Netflix only lets you log into one device at a time, but we actually have a good reason for it. We don't want team members stepping on each other's toes as they all try and edit the same content. Kind of like having too many cooks in the kitchen, cooking up too much content all at the same time. To avoid a hot mess, here's how the team editing works. If you want to request edit access for a project that already has an editor, simply select the request to edit button in the top right corner of your screen. Once the editor is done editing your next masterpiece, they'll relinquish the editor status over to you. You will receive a notification letting you know that you can jump in right away. 
If you or anyone on your team needs a quick refresher on how to edit in Podcastle, send them a link to our full editing tutorial linked in the description below. In case you missed it, we do have a full tutorial that goes through how to create your digital voice, but I'll go through it again really quickly and I'll also show you how to update your digital voice in your team workspace. To begin, go to your homepage and click on My Digital Voices located on the left side of the screen. Then click Create Digital Voice. You'll record 70 sentences in English and wait for us to process your new AI voice. Don't worry, this usually takes less than 24 hours. Once your digital voice has been processed, you'll have the option to decide if you want to share your voice with your team or keep it only in your personal workspace. It's never been so easy to work with your team on a podcast project, but if you have questions, just comment below and we're happy to help. And remember to get 50% off your first month subscription by using code PODTUBE50 at checkout. Link below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.